Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my fall favorites. And these are products that I have been loving lately during this fall season. Not everything is fall themed, but a lot of it is. And we're not sticking to just home decor today. I've got some clothing recommendations, book recommendations, cookware, lots of different fun stuff. So I love watching these types of videos. I hope that you're able to make some fun new discoveries. And without further ado, let's get into the favorites. All right, so this first product is something that I've been looking for for a long time, and I will link everything that I possibly can below. Some things just aren't linkable, but I'll do my best to try to find similar things. But this first product is this gorgeous pumpkin enamel Dutch oven. How cute is this? Not only is this adorable bakeware for the fall season, but I just leave it out on my back burner so it acts as kind of a decor piece and helps keep my kitchen festive, but also just looks really classic and elevated. This guy was $40 at Marshall's. They had it in an orange color and a white color. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. They had them at both TJ Maxx and Marshall's, and I think I went to three total in my area just to find a white one this size and then also I bought one for my mom so I was able to find two which is really nice but I just love the look of this and this is actually a dupe for the Williams Sonoma one I believe that one is either 200 or 300 dollars they also have one at Crate and Barrel as well I just love this for cooking soups you can bake bread in it pasta dishes whatever it's a super versatile piece and how adorable is this for Thanksgiving I like the white one just because it goes with my decor a little better but if you like a punch of color they also have them in orange as well and cooking soup is like a quintessential fall experience and when you can cook your soup in a pumpkin I mean come on okay so this next thing is kind of random but whenever I show Kona on my videos I get so many questions about her bandanas so I just wanted to share because I found these bandanas at Walmart and they're the time and true bandanas I believe it's like Khloe Kardashian's line with Walmart and these are really nice because they're soft because you know how you get those other cheap bandanas and they just feel like super scratchy. I love these because they're really soft and scarf like so I feel good putting them on Kona and honestly we share them so you could even get two and match with your pup but I use them as hair headbands as well so it's nice just having a bunch on hand so they're versatile. I love this kind of mustard color. I thought it was perfect for fall but they just have so many different patterns and colors. They're always in just like the jewelry accessories section at Walmart so there's a bunch to choose from and they're two dollars I believe they're like 197 or something like that so really affordable too so I just wanted to share these are Kona's bandanas that I always put on her if you're looking to dress up your pooch for the fall season I would go check your local Walmart and just see which ones they have because I really like these all right so next up we have these Myers cleaning products I just love the smell of these and the apple cider scent is my absolute favorite for fall it just smells so scrumptious and festive and I'm sorry but when you're cleaning your kitchen and it just smells like fall has exploded everywhere it makes me want to clean more than I normally do so they do have an acorn spice and a mum scent as well I believe for the fall season but this one is my favorite and I usually just buy a three pack on Amazon and then I keep using it throughout the Christmas season as well you can also get them at Target as well for a pretty affordable price so I don't love the containers that they come in so I do have an amber glass spray bottle that I put the cleaner into and then I also just have an aesthetic dish soap dispenser that I just put this in so you know it still smells good and it looks good all right so next up we have these gold soup spoons like I said fall is soup season so obviously you need a good soup spoon to carry you through and I don't know we didn't have any soup spoons before so it was kind of annoying just to have like really small bites because our spoons are pretty small that we have regularly so these are nice it's pretty much like a mini ladle I also really like the look of these I feel like they're very aesthetic and they were super cheap on Amazon it's a pack of six and I think it was ten dollars I'll insert here what it actually was because I don't really remember but I really like the thought of doing like soup parties or chili parties where you just throw some chili or soup on the stove, you get some crusty bread and a salad and have a game night. I don't know, I just feel like that sounds really fun for fall, so I'm gonna try to host a couple of those and I felt like these were perfect to serve with the soup. All right, so next we're gonna talk about my favorite fall candles and one of them is linkable and one is not, so I apologize in advance, but 
My favorite linkable candle is this Pumpkin Woods candle from Target. And this size was $10, I believe, and then the large one was $20. I bought this one first and I liked it so much. I was like, oh my gosh, I want a little one for my bathroom. And what I like about this is it comes with a lid. So eventually when you burn the candle down, you can reuse the jar later as decor. So like maybe next year you could reuse it. So I thought that was super cool. I also love the color of this glass. The brown amberish color of it is just so pretty and really fits in well with my aesthetic. And it's just a really tasty full decor piece so I love this and then not only are they cute and functional but they also smell so good this is my favorite scent I know scent is very subjective but maybe you could go to your target and get a little sniff in there and just double check that you like it but they do have this in other scents as well they're just different color glasses so they have some other pretty ones as well I believe they have like a white one a green one a more orangey red ones but yeah I love these and then my other favorite candle if you have an Aldi near you is this apple harvest I believe these are under five dollars they're three wick candles I bought like five of them and I have one in every room I love to just like open up a window and light this one it is so scrumptious smelling it's just like straight up apple pie is being baked in your home and uh, it just smells so good and festive. I used to really love pumpkin scented things, but lately I'm way more into the apple scent just because I feel like the pumpkin smell always like makes me want to eat pumpkin. Like it makes me hungry. <laughs> I don't know why, but the apple one for some reason doesn't. And this pumpkin woods one doesn't smell like that super sweet pumpkin smell. It's like more of a woodsy pumpkin smell, so just so you're aware. But yeah, these are my two favorite candles of the season so far, and I have them constantly burning throughout my house. I feel like if I'm awake, one of these is going. All right, so this next thing is my splurge of the season, okay? It is <laughs> this gorgeous, distressed, rustic vase. And I'm gonna put it down now because it's really heavy. <laughs> Okay, much better. But this guy is available on Wayfair. It was like right around the $200 price point. I believe it's on sale right now at the time of me filming this video, but I just love the rustic look that it gives to a space. It'd be really pretty to put on a coffee table because it's a lower profile, so it doesn't like block anyone's view or it'd be nice for maybe a dining table as well, just to create a statement and anchor the middle of the table. Personally, I'm going to pop some really pretty rust colored fall stems in here just for the season. I love the tan taupey color of it and the warmth that's in that distressed texture. I also love the little handle detail. I think that looks super artifact-like and just very expensive and designer. I'm going to use this throughout all of the seasons. I'll pop some really pretty pine stems in here for Christmas. It also would look really pretty just like displayed by itself on a shelf or whatever or maybe a console table. It's definitely one of those statement pieces that really helps to elevate your space and make it feel very expensive when you layer it into your decor. So I'm really happy with this one. It was definitely a splurge but worth it in my opinion it's also very large so it's not very tall but it's really wide and definitely helps create a statement for those spaces like a kitchen island or a dining table or a console table or a coffee table those places where you kind of want to keep it simple but you also want something to kind of fill the space and add nice scale in there this is a really great product for that all right so this next product is a tj maxx slash marshall's find and if you're there just keep your eye out for this one because i love it it, it is the sand and fog autumn heart harvest hand soap and this scent is like Sand and Fog has a lot of really good scents, but this one I just feel like stands out of the pack. There is a Pumpkin Harvest, but the one that smells really good in my opinion is the Autumn Harvest. I know scents are very subjective, but this one is my favorite. It just smells so good. I also love the cute little amber jar that it comes in with this sweet little label. I just think that looks very designer. And I feel like by keeping things simple and almost like apothecary-like, it just makes things seem really elevated and classy. So I love the packaging that it comes in and yeah, if you're at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, definitely keep your eye out for this. It's like five bucks or so. So very affordable and is a great soap to have on hand this fall season. All right, so this next thing is my favorite fall snack and it is these pumpkin spiced almonds. And I got these from Aldi. So hopefully you have an Aldi near you, but I usually have them for lunch with like cheese and a yogurt pretty much every day. So they're great for road trips, healthy desserts, snacking. I definitely have a couple of these already stocked up and I'm going to get a couple more later today. <laughs> All right, so next we have some spooky season book recommendations. And the first one is The Witch of Willow Hall. And I really like this one. I feel like 
out of all the ones I'm recommending, this one was probably my favorite. If I had to categorize this, this would be a slow paced romance with really well defined characters. You feel very connected to them and just a touch of like supernatural vibes. It takes place in kind of like an old mansion. And it's a good one if you're looking for like more of a fun, lighthearted, fall themed historical romance, I guess. This next book is Home Before Dark. And this one is just way more of like a spooky thriller. It's definitely one of those that kept the pages turning and you cannot predict the ending if you tried. If you like thrillers, this one is really good in my opinion. It just keeps you guessing the whole way through. And even when you think you know what happened, it's like, no, and your mind is blown. So I enjoyed the ending, which for me, I'm a big endings person. I know books are very subjective. So if you look for books more than just like entertaining purposes, I don't think you would like these very much, but I felt like I was very entertained and I went through this one super quickly. So this is a good one as well. The other one I read, I read on my new Kindle. I just got this, which I actually really love it. It's the Kindle Paperweight, I believe. I will link the one that I have below, but Mike got it for me because it's waterproof so I can read it in the pool that we don't have. I don't know. I just like the thought of being able to read in the pool, but like I don't have a pool, so... I just thought it was cool that it was waterproof. I guess you could read it in the bathtub. I'm not a bath person, but you know, it's waterproof just in case. But anyway, I read All Good People Here by Ashley Flowers. And I read it because I listened to her podcast, Crime Junkie, if you're familiar. She wrote a book and she like always promotes it on her podcast. And so I was really excited for her book, but honestly, like the book was good. I will say I didn't feel like super connected to the characters, but I was so annoyed at the ending. So if you don't like unfinished endings, don't read this book, but it was okay. And it was definitely more of like a murder mystery than like a fall ghosty, like thriller kind of scary book. It was just kind of like a drama crime novel. So yeah, those are my books that I've been reading lately that are like more fall themed. Definitely worth a read if you're looking for like just some fall themed fun books. Okay, so this next thing I have been living in all fall season long and I pretty much wear these every day. It's honestly really embarrassing. Unless I'm filming, I'm wearing these. So. They are these airy flare leggings. So they're super high rise and high waisted and they're flare. So flare jeans and flare pants are really making a comeback. They are very in the season and I just think they're super flattering and that's not even the best thing about these. I had one pair of Lululemon Align leggings that Mike got me as like a birthday gift and they were my favorite. They're just so buttery soft. They're just very non-restricting and comfortable and breathable and oh, they're the best. And I made a comment to him like, oh, I just wish I had 10 pairs of these so I could wear them every single day because they're like that nice. And these rival the Align leggings for sure. They're the same like buttery, soft, just super comfortable and still very flattering leggings. So I bought like four or five of these and I do truly wear them every day. They're perfect for working out and just keeping things casual, but you can also dress them up a little bit by wearing them with a sweater and maybe some like cuter shoes. Very versatile, super comfortable, great for like a plane outfit or a car ride outfit where you're like going somewhere and you wanna be cute when you get there, but you also wanna be comfortable, you know, or just wanna be cute and comfortable in your everyday life. Seriously, get yourself a pair of these and I promise you, you will love them. <laughs> All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of my favorite fall products from the season. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing stuff like this and maybe wanna see more seasonal favorite videos. Definitely leave me a comment letting me know if you do. So I wanna thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.